Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the softcore brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Uh, last time we went into door six and solved the puzzle of the big engine room, which, you know, wasn't really as big as I kind of made it out to be, but still. Okay, sure, sure. Alrighty. Keep an eye on the door. Okay. Yeah. It's not that difficult. <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, no, guess not. Never mind. Yeah, of course. Irritated, huh? Uh, nice way of putting it. <laughs> Long-suffering parent. All right, all right. Anyway. It's kind of interesting how they do this after we solve the puzzle. Yeah, I realized that they said that they kept telling me, you know, this is directly above the conveyor belt, and that's why the box was there, so... <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't, I was skimming through the di through the, all the dialogue and everything too fast to notice, even though I think I even said it out loud at some point, so I just totally wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Oh, that's good. <laughs> just to make sure. Uh-huh. Alrighty, alrighty. Give him a look. A warrior? You mean a warrior, right? <laughs> right. Anyway. Well, I'll assume it's a joke. Alright, good, good. A poke in the forehead? What the heck, dude? <laughs> Yeah, we got the exit open. Let's go. Okay, then. Do to do to do. Oh. Hey. Hmm. Sup, dude. Yeah, I kind of guess... Oh. You have a sister? Huh. Oh. June. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're still going with that? Ay, 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 ay. Oh, well. Huh? Santa Claus? Uh. I've only heard it in this game, so to my knowledge, it, it was it, it, this was created specifically for this, but I don't know. There were two Santas. I find it interesting, though. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. Uh-huh. Played tricks on bad kids. What, no coal? What kind of tricks? Stabbed the Black Santa to death. And that's why Santa's clothes are red. Screw Coca-Cola. <laughs> really? I find it to be a rather interesting story that 
like I said, I assume was made up specifically for this game because I can't find any any other information on this story of the two Santas. Oh well, you're wearing white, so I guess you're the white one. Well, so it's not a coincidence you chose Santa as a name, huh? Okay. Huh. Well, okay. Huh. Yeah, let's get moving. Yep, yeah, into the other room, so... Which I'm not terribly fond of. But, oh well. Not, I mean, it, it, I like it. It's just, you know, the one puzzle might take a little a little extra time to figure out. So, yeah, I went ahead and went to just just went to game facts and to get some of the uh answers so I wouldn't have to, you know, spend some time uh trying to figure them out. So, anyway, you know, just so you know. 15 feet? That's not very far. <laughs> For nearly 15 feet. They make it sound like it's so, like, such a distance. Ah, uh, yes. Not very big at all, really, but. Hmm, here we have the cargo room, I believe. Or, car or cargo hold, cargo room, whichever you want to say it. Yep, all the freight. Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's anything in them that's like, you know, of any historical value or something. Okay. Alright, so the cargo room. Not terribly large, but... Still that... Well, two puzzles, really, that are a little bit more time-consuming, but we'll get to that, so, anyway, first things first, a box. I don't think there's anything in any of the boxes, but a bunch of bags here, huh? Eh? With Santa's face printed on it? What the? It's a card. Yeah. Huh. So, then... Hey, it's the Ninth Man! Ninth Man's face. Huh. Yeah. The children of the other crates. Really? <laughs> That's a weird thought. That's a really strange thought, but anyway. Oh, that's what he meant. The, the, these other ones are the children of these larger crates here that I just clicked on. Okay. Is that something on the... No, no, no. That little... Nope. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, let's go back there. Hmm. Coffin? The heck? Yeah. As if it's telling us search here. We have this fence. No thanks. Why? Oh. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Just in case. Where do you get the screw from? Whoa! Dude! An electric fence. You know, that's kind of dangerous. They could have, uh, you know, killed themselves on that, depending on how many volts are going through it anyway. You wouldn't be able to get back. Yeah, very true. Yeah. 
They weigh too much. Well... Alright, anyway, I don't think I can look at those ropes there. Oh yeah, those straps are just holding me down. But, we can, I believe, look at this box. No? Really? Okay, fine. I guess it didn't have to come over here yet. Anyway, let's open this little bag. Oh, it's seven. Okay. Oh, look. Hey, it's me! Not cool, man. Without my permission. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, we're the only two that don't think so. Anyway, in this one... June! Hey! What? Aw, oh, what are you saying? <laughs> You're the only one who seems to think Lotus is sexy. All the guys are kind of like... I don't know, they kind of, <laughs> don't seem to like her very much. But... But, but... You're trying? A board? Trash can? What the heck?! <laughs> Good grief! Anyway... Enough about that. Wait for the crate, and I think... There's something on those boxes there, but they also serve another purpose. Oh, I guess they're not on there. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll look at those... Oh, wait, actually. I think something does happen if you look at it. Mm-hmm. Picked up something that had been sitting on next to the box. Aha, we got, uh, Lotus's card. Hair is ridiculous. Clay? Really? <laughs> Says the pot to the kettle. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we still need uh, three more. Let's see. This is the door we came in, I think. Yeah. And then over here. Oh. Your snake. Want to see it? No, that's fine. Oh, you. I meant to look at the thing on top, but that bag there, because I assume that's clover in there. Okay. <laughs> What's up? I, uh, well. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Why is yours in a box, Ace? European Lord, I guess. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good picture. Yeah, okay, okay. Anyway, up the stairs, I think, is where the next leg of the... Go up three stories. Okay, I think this is where the next leg of the... And this is the exit. It's a keyhole. Okay. Gotta find the key, huh? I don't think we get to actually look at the keyhole, but... Anyway, going further up... Yeah, this is where the rest of the puzzle is, so... I'll come back there later. Let's see, I want to turn around to these, because now we can do something with these. I mean, really, it's an easy overall puzzle, but... Yeah, not that hard to figure out. Yep. Snake on it goes into box one. Or a picture of snake on it goes into box two, and blah, blah, blah. Self, do we?
Yeah, I didn't think so. It was just it was just too obvious to, you know, make us do it manually. Mm hmm And finally ninth man. Whoa. Is this your case? That single pin? What? Selling pins. Hmm. Okay. Nine of them in total. Yeah, this this puzzle is not that bad. It's not the one. It's not the time-consuming one. So let's see. Going up, going up, and on to. Oh wait, we don't have to do that yet. Oh yeah, we do. Never mind. Okay, here. <coughs> Six holes here. Pins I just found would be perfect. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. And he's just gonna randomly—well, not randomly, but he's gonna put in these, uh, these ones, and then it lights up. You know, some of the the three and the six. Yeah, this is the same as like opening the numbered doors. It's the, uh, you know, the. Uh, what the heck is it called? <laughs> Whatever that number is, when you get two four two plus four plus six equals you know blah blah, and then add that up and all that. Digital root. That was it. <laughs> I can't forgot that. Yeah, it is the digital roots. Yeah, 2 plus 4 is 6 is 12, 2 plus 1 is 3, and that is, you know, digital root, so. Yeah. Yeah, and I think they turn them off immediately afterwards just to be annoying. Yep, so that's how it works. Okay. What? Well, not really to be annoying, but just to show. And you put the pins, yeah, and they turn off if you do the same number again. Yeah, yeah, we got that. So if you put in the digital roots again, the numbers turn off. So what we want to do is we have to put in six pins at once and turn on two lights at a time until, you know, we get all nine of them on. And I think we can actually t turn off that last uh, ninth light as well, but, you know, we don't want to do that. <coughs> yep. He basically just explained it. Well, no. Well, but fine. Maybe he didn't explain it. Maybe I just totally wasn't paying attention again. I was too busy on my own explanation. Yep. So, anyway. Yes, we know how it freaking works! Come on! Okay, so, I've already got a list written down for this, so I can just do it quickly. Blah, 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 lower parts will turn on. Yeah, we got that, we got that. Okay, great. So, let's see, I want... Oh, I have to click up here first. One, three, and... Click it, four... And then, let's see, two. Let's see, that gets seven and eight. And then, let's see. One, two, and three. And six, eight, and nine. Or five and six. And then, let's see, three. Click, four. Click, and six. There we go. And let's see, what was I? One, two, and nine. Three and four. And then lastly, let's see. What is that? One, eight. Click. One, three. Wait, that is a three that I wrote down, right? My head, my pencil isn't very, uh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Then four. Six and nine. 
There we go, and that's one and two. And then we get this other one that opens up over here on the shutter. Yeah, we gotta do it again. Yeah, this one's actually not too diff difficult to understand. You see the F there. That is the... Oh, man, what is that? Oh, well, whatever they were called. Man, that slipped my mind now, too. But anyway, that means 15. You remember that from... From... <sighs> man. I cannot think of what it's called now, but oh, well, whatever. Yeah. So basically, with this, we got we had to use all nine pins. We had to get 15 in every direction, diagonally, vertically, and uh, horizontally, for every single you know possible way. So again, I got this ahead of time. So let's see. Eight, click. Eight, one, six. Three. Five. Seven. And, let's see, four, nine, and two. And that's 15 in every direction. Oh, light's lit. All right. Now for the actually annoying puzzle. Well, not really annoying, annoying, but you'll see, you'll see. All right. Let's see if we can activate the device on the top. All right, now we got this. It looks kind of like the crane game with that joystick there. I mean, maybe I said that a little too soon, but... Where did he find this? <laughs> he found a... I think it found an instruction manual or something. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it basically is the crane game, except with a lot more control. Well, not more the like controls controls, but you'll see, you'll see. That. Yeah. That. See this little... That thing with the red light on top down there? That's the machine he's talking about. The Pushmaster 5000. Yeah. <laughs> the Pushmaster 5000. Yeah. 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 We're going to use the Pushmaster 5000 to push... These, uh, the four boxes, or the four crates there that are kind of, you know, semi in the middle, uh, to, uh, over to the corner there so we can walk across those boxes that we looked at before and get, you know, that we could use to get over the fence. Yep, we're gonna make a path to the coffin. And all the darker boxes that are in the exact middle and the up, the, uh, upper left and bottom left there, those ones we cannot move. And, of course, we can't move the crates that the coffin's sitting on, either. Yeah, now there are zero puzzles. So, it runs off a of battery. So, to keep it from using up its energy, we have to basically program in its where it's going to go ahead of time. And, because of the limited life of the battery, we have exactly 50 moves to solve this puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might as well look at it, I guess. Let's see, where is it? Pushmaster 5000 instructions. Yep, you can move in four directions. You cannot move diagonally. If Pushmaster 5000 moves, it count exceeds the battery life, it will be reset, which is 50. And then, you know, can't move those darker boxes, but we can uh, move those other ones. So, let's see. I have a solution sitting right here. Because I didn't want to have to do a bunch of trial and error. Oh, here we go. The lever. Sure thing! Yep. <clears throat> Does it to 50 moves. That's what it says in the manual. Yep. Yeah, they can't move the heavy metal crates. Oh, they're metal. Okay. Got it. Oh, come on! We just basically read this! Blah, 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 blah. and fill the four yellow areas there on the side. So, let me see. First thing I want to do is I start there. So, let's see, one, two. Let's see, can I use the... No, I have to actually click on these. So, okay, three, four, five, six. Let's move around 
here, then here, here. Yep, just follow the same path. And it should be fine. So from here, I want to go here, here, here. This way. Let's see. Here. All right, and then yes, I want to go here. Forty-seven moves, nice. Glad I got that ahead of time. That would have been a little annoying. That I think the first time I did it, it took me like five tries to figure out the best way to do it. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't want to have to go through that and spend a lot of recording time, you know, doing that. So just be quiet and watch. When it's moving already. Sweet. Go, Pushmaster Five Thousand. Right. Great. Okay. So now we get to. That's it for all the puzzles. What happens if I turn? No, not that way. The other way. I see a left and a right. So. Oh, that just turns back to that. Okay. Anyway, going back up here now. I can go over, and we can get to the coffin. <coughs> Alright. If we had gone down a different path, I think Junpei might have had, like, some thought about this coffin. But... <laughs> Mummy. Yeah, in this regard. But Santa's having it instead. Oh. I could have... I guess I could have, like, acted like I was more shocked. But, yeah, I think Junpei is the one who has that thought if you went through door... Four first, I think. So could be wrong. We'll find out. Well, actually, no, we won't find out later. But oh well, doesn't matter. It's just a little. You'll know what it is. Yeah, what it is once we actually, you know, actually have that conversation. So I think it's related to the conversation in the freezer, but it could be in uh, one of the other doors that also corresponds to after the freezer. Is that? Let's see, key and a gun? A golden gun? Golden eye? Ah. Uh. Replica. Replica of. Huh. Why am I picking up the revolver? Yeesh. Six bullets. Well. Or even a real bullet. <laughs> Jeez. Barrel was rifled and nothing seemed to be blocking it. Well. Yeah. Wow. If it was real. Eesh. What am I gonna do with it? Yeah. One person, a huge event. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. We're in enough insanity as it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is a whole issue with door 9 to deal with. Uh, no. 
Of course not. The rusty key. All right. Wait, did we all go over there? <laughs> I guess we must have. So yeah, we get the rusty key. Gee, I wonder what we could, should use this on. Oh, there's the fence. I wonder if there's anything else I can click on that's of any interest. Guess not. Hmm. Well, anyway. Going back. Let's see, where is... There we are. So... Yes! Sounds like that did it. Yay! I see. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I had to click on it again? Fine. It's opening, so... You know how this goes. <laughs> you found it! Next time on Let's Play Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Arrivederci!